Don't walk away from your blessing. That is what I want to talk to you today. It is easy for us to walk away from our blessings because of the words that we speak, the fear that we have, or the anxiety people go through, or the doubt that you carry. In the book of Exodus chapter 14, verse 13, Moses stood there and see, and sat in front of the sea, and he said, that look what the Lord is going to do for you. People were angry with Moses. They wanted to go back to Egypt. And they said it is better for us to go and die than, you know, dying in the sea in here. Look, Pharaoh is coming behind us. They were in the moment between a blessing and turning back. They were in a place where they were going to see the biggest miracle in life. Where God is going to open the Red Sea for them. Through there they will walk to the other side. And the same Red Sea God is going to destroy the enemy. They were about to see that, but they wanted to go back. There are many people in the same mode in life. God is taking you to a destination and God is all going to open doors for you. And that moment you decide just before he opens the door, you decide that he will go back. I, I can't take it anymore. It is too much. I can't carry on with this family life. I can't continue this job. I can't study this anymore. You know, it is impossible for me. I can't stay in this country. I've been struggling. There are lots of excuses we say and we walk back. But without understanding that your miracle, your blessing, was just one step ahead of you. So do not give up in life. Make sure that you stand firm till you reach your destination, till you reach the dream that God has given in your life. Unless and until you accomplish it, you will never be fulfilled in life. You can never be fulfilled in life. Let me tell you, in the book of Exodus chapter 5, we see that the attack by the Egyptian against Israelites. When Moses came to Egypt and said, let my people go to worship, that is the word of God. Then the Pharaoh said, no, I will not allow them. And he said, from now onwards, give them less straw, but let them produce the same number of bricks. Let me tell you, the attack always come against the strongest. If you are weak, not good enough, the attack will never come to you. Nobody will attack you. They will just walk away from you. But the moment they know that you, God has a great plan for your future, God has to use you in a mighty way. And there is something lying in the head of you which is going to be mighty and powerful. That, those kind of people usually get attacked. Why? Because the devil wants to stop you from reaching the destination where God is taking you. Secondly, devil want to put a fear in your heart, intimidate you that you are afraid. We will, he will make you afraid to run away from everything that you are doing. Few years back, I asked one of the families to conduct a Bible study. And after two, three Bible studies, they came to me and said, Pastor, it is impossible because the moment we started the Bible study, we begin to get attacked from the devil. Let me tell you, if he has attacked you because of you have done it, remember that God wants to use you more powerful in that area. What you need to do, you need to prepare more, fast and pray, pray more and get ready and do it again. The more that you are being used by God, you know, the more the curses, the traumas and problems will be broken. But before you get into where God is taking you, and that's where the attack is. If you look at Joseph's life, Joseph, before getting into where he was being as a prime minister, he been attacked from all sides. But let me tell you, the moment came when he became the prime minister, everything went away from him and he became a champion in Egypt. God has called you to be a champion. He has not called you to be a loser. He doesn't want you to give up in life. He wants you to hold on. So my pray for each and every one of you. And this is my desire for you that please don't walk away from your blessing. Hold on. Your time is at hand. The blessing is knocking at your door. This is the time and this is the season for you to go forward and not to step back. Lord bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Shalom.